Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. This is video eight of the Windows Server 2019 training. What we're gonna be doing in this video, we're gonna be installing DHCP servers on 2019. So if you're ready for it, let's get into it. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is video eight. We're going to be installing DHCP servers, uh, DHCP server services on Windows Server 2019. So what is DHCP and how does DHCP work? So what DHCP is, it's an automatic way to get an IP address from a service, which is the dynamic host configuration protocol, which then DHCP. So in here you have your DHCP client going to the DHCP server. It has four steps to do that. They call it Dora. Um, you may have heard people say Dora the Explorer. You know, that's how it's pretty much I remember it because my daughter watches those things. But um, the first request you're going to have to discover. So it's going to discover DHCP server from the client. And then the server is going to offer, right, send an offer request. And then the client will say, okay, I got it. I'm going to request an IP, you know, the IP address and come back with an acknowledgement. So it's going to acknowledge that, and then it's going to get an IP address. So these are the four steps here of getting a DHCP address from a DHCP server. Um, there's many ways to, there's a couple of ways to configure. You can configure DHCP services on a firewall. You can configure it on a router. You can configure it on a multi-layer switch. You can configure it on a, on a Linux box, on a Windows box. There's many ways to configure DHCP services. You can have a, a tablet do DHCP services. You can do a, some crazy things out there. But so let's go to the next slide. So this is going to be our setup. We have our domain controller, which I've been working with the this whole video series. And on on um, right here, you see uh, server DHCP scope. This is going to be my scope that I want to assign on the server, and I want to exclude some IPs. So say for example, you want these five IPs for servers or if you just want to exclude them for printers or whatever you want to exclude them for, you decide. And I just wanted to give that option so I can show you guys how to configure that. And we have two Windows 10 boxes. We have Win 10 uh, dash client one and client, whoops, whoops, sorry about that. I meant to say this is client two. I don't, I don't think I meant to say client three, but in this is the configuration. So if you're ready for it, let's get into it. All right. So, we have right now I'm going to log into both my machines okay let's log into PC1 and then client 2 and if you remember from previous videos we assign these IPs statically right so if we go back here we go to IP, we go to properties. I have to put my fancy fancy password for the administrator because these guys don't have admin rights like they shouldn't have because they're just users. So we go to IPv4, we have statically assigned these IPs, right? And it's the same thing on client two, all right? So let's just go on to the server. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring this so I can remember I'm going to bring this over here on my other screen so I can remember what I'm, you know, what IPs that we're going to be assigning. All right, so now let's log into my domain controller. Okay. And I should have logged into it, but, you know, sometimes you, uh, you forget. So we'll log into the domain controller and we'll wait till server manager comes up and we'll configure the, the service for DHCP. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll give this a second. So we can hide this for now. So we'll give this a minute to show up the um, DNS, Active Directory, all the roles that are installed on this current server. Which, if we go to local server, this is our Win two uh, Win two K nineteen DC one, and this is the IP address. And this is all the settings, right? So now if we go back to the dashboard, we can see everything here. And um, 
who cares about that? So we'll go to Tools, um, uh, Manage, Add Roles and Features. Okay, we'll minimize this for now. Whoops, I guess we can't. So we'll go to Next. It's a role-based, uh, role-based uh, role based or feature-based installation. It's gonna be installed on this server. That's perfectly fine, hit Next. We're gonna go down here and hit DHCP Server. And we're gonna leave everything as default, include the management tools. Okay, add feature, hit next, 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 install. It doesn't need a reboot, so it should only take, you know, less than two minutes. It's a very short, easy process. And once this is done, we'll go ahead and uh, configure it. It might ask us to restart the service, sometimes it does. And we'll just have to go into the services, restart the service, and I'm gonna go ahead and configure the um, configure the scopes and the router and all that good stuff. All right. So we'll give this a second. Maybe a couple seconds. Let's make sure this is okay. We're all good here. I want to go on to the same spot in here, just so I'm just change adaptive settings. So I'm here. Change adaptive settings. Just so I'm ready. All right, so this has been installed. You can see here, complete DHCP configuration. Let's click on that. Click on it. Come on. Okay. I think I click on it. Okay, cool. So create your the, the following groups for, for delegation of DHCP server administration. Hit next. I'm going to log in, use the same, I want to use the domain admin account. That's fine. Commit. Fine. Fine with me. This is all, this is the status for post installate, you know, the status of the post install configuration steps. So that should be fine. Close. Okay. Close. Okay. Just did this. All right. So now what we're going to do. We have DHCP, but what I want to do really quick is go to services. And in the services, I want to go ahead and restart the service. So DHCP server restart. I'll give that a second. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and go to tools, DHCP. Minimize this, we'll make this bigger. Now we have our DHCP, IPv4, IPv6, you can create both. So we don't have any configuration at the moment. So if we right click on here, we'll create a new scope. And that's the scope here that we're gonna be creating. Oh, I'm gonna be creating this scope here and exclude these addresses, okay? But you guys can follow along or you can do your own um, scope. It's all up to you and, and, and your your network. If you're using VMware, then you have to create the same address scheme. If you want 192.168.50.x slash 24 um, and, and whatnot. So I'm gonna the name of this. I want to put um, Patrick Land and the description. I'll put um, Pat's. Uh, Pat's, I don't know, Pat's LAN network. Okay. Patrick's, Patrick's LAN. Okay. Let's start. I want to put 192.168.50. Look over there, 225. 192.168.50.240. Okay. It's going to be a 24 bit. Subnet, you guys can configure it the way you want or, you know, whatever is good for your network. And then ex exclusions, we're going to add an exclusion. I'm going to do 192.168.50.225. And the end, the end is going to be 230. So it's only going to be five addresses. Hit add there. That should be good. Okay, next. Default. Your default um, lease period, which the IP address will stay um, giving the host the lease, will be eight days. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna put 23 hours. 
Okay. I want to hit uh, next. Do you want to configure this option now? Yes, I do. Go ahead and hit next. And my router. So this is very important because this is how you're going to be able to get out to the internet. My router is 192.168.50.1. I want to hit add, next. Infosecpath.local is my parent domain. My DNS servers, I can, I want to actually remove this one and we'll put 192.168.50.1. Okay, so that's another DNS server to get out to the internet. Okay, so that should be good, perfect. And I don't have wins, I'm not configuring that. Do you want to activate this now? Yes, I do, thank you very much, finished. Okay, so now if we go to address pools, we can see our DHCP range and our exclusion, okay? So leases, obviously there's no leases right now because the two clients that we're going to be pulling DHCP from has statically assigned addresses. We have reservations, you can add, um, you can add reservations and a, res a reservation assures that the DHCP client is always assigned the same IP. This is like statically assigning it. Um, your options, my router, my DNS server, my domain. This is the options you can, if you have phones, you can do option 66 and a whole bunch of cool little things. Um, I'm not a phone guy, so sorry. Uh, policies and the server options and more policies and filters. You know, you want to MAC address filters, but we're just installing it and we're going to have leases. So now let's go ahead and go to client one. Let's double click on this, I, this guy and hit properties. We'll probably have to um, log in here because user one does not have admin rights go to ipv4 we can hit automatically assign automatically assign okay 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 we can view this in details we have internet access let's see what ip address we got 231 perfect let's see do the same thing over here this is client 2 properties let's Let's log in as the admin. Perfect. IPv4. Automatic, automatic. Okay, okay. Details, we have internet access. 232 is the IP address here. Perfect, now let's go back to DHCP, refresh this. Now we see our two clients getting an IP address from our DHCP server. So it's very simple. That is the pool that is pulling from right here. Refresh. And then the addresses. Let's just refresh. We can double click on here. Refresh. We can add filters. We could do a whole bunch of stuff. All right. So, and if we go to, let's go back to. Here, let's just do an IP config. IP config. We can see our DNS suffix is infosecpath.local. Our, our um, DNS, actually I want to do dash all slash all. And I want to see my DHCP server is my domain controller. I have two DNS servers. My, D, my primary DNS is my domain controller. My secondary DNS is my router so I can get out to the internet and it looks good to me. So let's uh, bring this back over here. So let's just sum up what we did. We had our domain controller, what we add DHCP role right there. We added the, the service scope. The DHCP service scope is 192.168.50.225.2240. So that's 15 addresses. And we excluded 225 to 230. That's five addresses, so we can assign servers or whatever. And that's pretty much sums up the video. And um, it's a very simple process. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you install and configure DHCP services on Windows Server 2019. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.